Welcome to the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Whitewarney, and this is 2 times 5 is more than simply 10. Every now and then, you might hear someone ask, what is 2 times 5? And you may hear someone else answer, 2 times 5 is 10. What is interesting is that this question can mean several different things. When someone asks, what is 2 times 5? What they might mean is, 2 times 5 is equal to what number? The answer to that question is 10. 2 times 5 is equal to 10. And that is an important idea to learn. But they may also know that there are many other important ideas. So when someone asks, what is 2 times 5? They may be wondering, what does 2 times 5 mean? And that is an important question. In this video, let's take a closer look at both of these ideas. 2 times 5 is equal to 10. Let's examine some ways that 2, 5, and 10 are related to each other. To begin, if 2 times 5 is equal to 10, then 5 times 2 is also equal to 10. And since multiplication is related to division, we also know that 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5, and 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. If we look at 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2, we can see that there are several different ways to write this idea. We can write 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. Or we can write 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. And that can be very useful. So understanding 2 times 5 is more than simply knowing that the product is 10. Here is an array. We know that an array that is 5 by 2 will have a total of 10. And we also know that we can break 10 apart into five groups of two, just like this. And when we put five groups of two together, the total is 10. And we know that we can break 10 apart into two groups of five, just like this. And when we put two groups of five together, the total is 10. So we can think of two times five as two groups of five. You may recognize this as repeated addition. And if we count the groups of five, we can see that there are one, two groups of five and the total of two groups of five is 10. And if two times five is equal to 10, we also know that five times two is equal to 10. So we can think of 10 as five groups of two. If we count the groups of two, we can see that there are one, two, three, four, five groups of two, which is equal to 10. Two times five is equal to 10, and there are many more important ideas. When we look on the multiplication table, we can see that two times five is equal to 10. 10 is a multiple of two, and 10 is also a multiple of five. In fact, if you look closely, you'll find another connection. You'll see that 10 is the fifth multiple of two. I'll count the multiples of two. One, two, three, four, five. And 10 is the second multiple of five. I'll count the multiples of five. One, two. Understanding that 10 is a multiple of both two and five is very important. Two times five is equal to 10, and there are many important ideas related to the number 10. As we think about the number 10, we know that if we divided it into five equal parts, like this, that each part would be one-fifth of 10 and one-fifth of 10 is equal to 2. And at the same time, if we divided 10 into two equal parts, each part would be one-half of 10, and one-half of 10 is equal to 5. When you examine 2 times 5 is equal to 10, you may notice that 10 is greater than 2, and 10 is also greater than 5. But how many times greater? Here is the answer. 10 is 5 times greater than 2. And there's another connection, too. 10 is also 2 times greater than 5. As you can see, there are many relationships among these numbers. So 2 times 5 is equal to 10, and that is an important idea to learn. But as you can tell, it's not the end of the story. There are many more relationships, many more connections, and many more ideas waiting to be discovered as we take a closer look at multiplication. This is the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Wyborny, and this is a reminder that 2 times 5 is more than simply 10.